Hello everyone! In this lesson on tetrachords and thirds, we will introduce the four different types of tetrachords. When naming tetrachords, the first thing we do is look at the note at the bottom of the tetrachord. In this example, that bottom note is A, so we know this is some type of A tetrachord. In the example on the right, the bottom note is D, so this is some type of D tetrachord. But what types are they? There are four common types of tetrachords, major, minor, Phrygian, and Lydian. A major tetrachord is built with a major second on the bottom, a major second in the middle, and a minor second on the top. In a minor tetrachord, the third note is lowered a half step, so the sequence of seconds goes major, minor, major. In a Phrygian tetrachord, the second note is lowered a half step, so the new sequence now is minor second, major second, and major second. And a Lydian tetrachord is constructed with all major seconds. There are no minor seconds in a Lydian tetrachord. Figuring out the tetrachord is one of the most challenging things we do as string players. These two groups of notes look very similar, but are they? A string diagram can be used to help us figure out the sequence of whole and half steps. In this tetrachord, all the notes are natural, so the sequence of major and minor seconds goes major, minor, and major. This tetrachord is called a D minor tetrachord. This tetrachord is also a type of D tetrachord, but be careful, there is a key signature with two sharps. The F sharp in the key signature affects the F on the staff, raising it a half step. Now the tetrachord is built with two major seconds, followed by a minor second. This is a D major tetrachord. Let's look at one more example. This example has two flats, and the E flat in the key signature is going to affect the E on the staff lowering it a half step. This tetrachord begins with a minor second and is followed by two major seconds. So it is a D Phrygian tetrachord. Now read lesson 17.2 in your workbook and complete the exercises for this lesson. In the next lesson, we will introduce major and minor thirds. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.